Hello everyone. In the last video, we saw how to design and draw this SRM motor in RM Expert N and SysMaxwell 2D to have a parametric simulation to be able to change variables and see the results. We have a fully parametric simulation here. And for example, if I change the variable sizes, the sizes of the motor, size of the slots, rotor, stator, and everything will change. Now in this video, we want to talk about how to get results. When you have a 2D model, you have to analyze the setup or in new versions from the simulation tab, you can click on analyze all or simply right click on setup and click on analyze after a while you can drive and extract the simulation results to get results first of all we have two kind of results the diagrams and the pictures and schematic results for example i want to draw the flux lines or magnitude of the b magnitude of flux density for these kind of results we have to first select all uh, i will show all the materials that we draw i will select all right click on the page and go to the field for example, for flux lines, we have to select A flux lines. And for getting the picture, we have to select the time that we are plotting the fields. For example, I will double click on the time and I choose, I, we have just one point here. If your simulation is analyzed before you have to go to the field overlays and again double click on flux lines you can see we have flux lines here in 2d model or for example here we can select all plot fields magnitude of b we have very little saturation points and almost all of the iron part uh, have the magnitude of B below the saturation point. The other important part that we may have to draw is mesh, plot mesh. I will click on plot mesh and you can see the mesh size is shown. Okay. Let's move on and plot the diagram results. To plot diagrams like output torque, output speed, and others, and other variables, and other outputs, you have to right click on results, go to the transient report, rectangular plot. Here in the middle window, we have the outputs that we can plot. The useful ones are torque. We have load torque and moving torque. We don't have load torque here. We didn't set the load torque. So we have the moving torque and we can plot the moving torque by clicking on new report. Here is the moving port with the average almost three newton meters the other important plot is create a report and let's go to the speed we know that we make the speed constant so if we plot the speed you can see the nominal speed versus time and the most important results are in the winding if you want to plot, for example, current and induced voltage, it's important to plot the outputs from winding. We didn't set the inductance calculation, so we can't see the inductance, the mutual inductance of the windings. They are, if I plot them, 
you can see they are zero but we can set the simulation to extract those values too but here in induced voltage i will select all the four phases by the by holding the control button or shift button and i plot the voltage and i will plot the current here is four phase current and if we want to see the other plots we can simply double click on the plot name and you can measure and see each phase by clicking on the curve info here we have current r4 phase and here is current phase b we got the values of for example b here in this colorful photo but if we want to know the single point value of b for example here in this we want to know the exact value of b not the color bar we can go to the draw, select a point, draw a point, wherever you want to see the value of the field. For example, here I plot this point here. Point will show again by selecting here in the middle window. You can select the point to see the geometry of point now we want to plot the magnitude of b or flux density on the on this point we have to right click on the results instead of transient report you have to go to the field report go to the field report and select the geometry you drew for example point one when you select the geometry you can select the field values that you want to plot for example here is mag of the flux density the magnitude of flux density there was to see the exact point you have to right click on the page go to the marker add a marker on the point that you want to see here we have 1.9 tesla in that saturated part now we have a parametric simulation and we want to see for example the effect of changing this gap we have another video on YouTube about how to simulate the parameters and optimization but I will tell you again here in this video. We can simply change the values of our parameters here. For example, I will change the diameter, the width of the gap, for example, minus 6. Okay, the gaps changed. And of course the results are gone here but if we don't want to select and change the variables one by one we have to define an optimetrix here we will go to the optimetrix option we will click on add and we add parametric now we can select our variable for example the depth of the gap here we will change the depth of the gap and we have to use the linear step for example from 2 millimeters to 12 millimeters with the steps of 2 millimeter okay we have to click on add here we can see the variable and description of these changes now I will click on OK in the tab in the table tab 
you can see the simulations that you will run the depth of the gap will be 2 mm, 4 mm, 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 and 12 mm we can add some other variables here too but it will for example we want to change the number of turns from now it, the nominal value is 35 we will change it from 30 to 40 with the steps of 5 I will add and we will have two different variables here but in the table you can see the number of simulation increased very much the last simulation was six simulations before we have six simulations and now we have 18 simulations if I click on OK we have optimetries here in the optimetries option we have to right click on the parametric sweep and click on analyze it will take big amount of time to analyze these simulations but after it is done we can get the results all of them together how can we plot all the results together we have to go to the simulation for example in moving torque okay when we have optimization or parametric sweep we can select the values of the diagram here in family tab let's do it again for example in moving torque we have to come here go to the families and select the variables that we want to plot I will use all values now you can see when the depths of the for example here the blue line is depths equal to 2 millimeter the green line is depths equal to 2 millimeter but the width is 6 millimeter the number of turns and number and the size of the gap is changing in these diagrams it will take a long time to simulate and complete the analysis but we can see the changes of the variables the effect of changing variables on the output and we can see the change of the variable on for example the effect of variable on current I will go to the family tab select all and new report for example with increasing the number of turns you will have lower value of the current and that's the effect after the simulation is done we can decide which changing in variables are better and which one is closer to the optimum point i hope you like this video you can ask your questions on the youtube channel